Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, Brakatai Hawa, Brakatai Hawa Shai, call Halal La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's Hebrew, interpret, bless Yahweh, bless Yahweh Shai. All praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of the Son, Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakakodash. All right. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right. Now, this is an article from BBC News. It says, do today's global protests have anything in common? Because there's a lot of uproars going, going, you know, going on in the world. You know, it's a lot of uproars. This is an uproar. All right. Protests, which is the people are not... The people are not, um, let me park over here. The people are not happy with the government. And, um, these are one of the things that, uh, the Lord said to look for. And one of the signs in which how you measure the time diligently in itself, you know, and seeing, seeing parts of the time, the times past. All right. Which is second edges nine. And, um, we're truly living in the, in Bible times, man. And, you know, we may sound like a broken record when we do our shows, but, you know, we got to be. We got to play that song, which is that word, you know, that music from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that gospel. All right. Because the word gospel is what? Good news. Good news to who? The elect of Israel. All right. To the Israelites. Now, it says in recent weeks, mass protests have broken out in the countries from Lebanon to Spain to Chile. All are different with distance cult distance causes methods and goals but there are some common themes that connect them all right so you know is i believe apostle Zahar in one of his show i think he said it was 13 if i'm not mistaken salakia you know uh major protest is going on man this is an uproar and that's why i played the video first so you can have you know an idea of you know what's going on in the streets out here to uh from um lebanon to spain to chile you know, people are mad. And uh first scripture I want to get is let's get this scripture. This is Proverbs chapter 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So this is a clear understanding that the righteous is not ruling. Okay? The, the righteous is not ruling right now because the scripture says when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. This is the clear opposite. OK, they are in the uproar. They're mad. They're taken to the streets with cocktail bombs and weapons and fighting the police, uh, looting, you know, tearing down the businesses, the stores. All right. This is the complete opposite. And um. Before I even continue that, let me go into another scripture. Matter of fact, Salakia, let me, let me let me end that one. All right, back to Proverbs chapter 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And the people are mourning. All right, these people are mourning, man. All right. They're mourning because, you know, hey, the government ain't right, man. Everybody's not eating. OK. Things are being taken away, resources, you know, restrictions and that nature, man. And this is all due to the elites establishing their new world order. All right. A one world government, you know, chaos happens. You know, they, they have something we, all, we, 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 we say all the time, which is auto app KO. OK, problem, reaction, solution. They start the problem, the people react and then they bring a solution. This is all due to the establishment of them pushing their new world order agenda okay which is a one world government and one way to bring in a world war government is out of chaos you 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 in the old world and you bring in the new world all right but we're not you know let me say this to you elites you know in, in your agenda and your plans you know what's that uh job the fifth chapter the lord is going to um interrupt in your enterprise man okay He's going to interrupt your plans, man. And um, you know what? Let me get that real quick. And then I'm going to go into the next scripture. Job 5. And it says, um, 
it says Job 5 and 11 to set on high those that be low and, and those which mourn may be exalted to safety. All right. And this is the elect because the elect is crying out and they're mourning right now. They're mourning for righteousness. They're mourning, you know, to for, for life, you know, to live. OK, righteously. It says verse 12, he dis he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right. So the Lord is going to uh, disrupt and disappoint your new world order, you know, which mainly is them forcing and um, implanting these microchips inside your body, which the microchip, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. All right. So it says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the forward headlong. All right. Because, hey, the Lord got you eat a mice in the trick bag, man. Now, going back into Proverbs uh, 29 and 2, when it says the wicked bear rule. Uh, let me go back. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right. So we know that the wicked is ruling. So let me go to Job 9 and verse 24. It says, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay. And that's these Edomites. You so-called white people, which are Esau Edom. Okay, that's what your forefathers Esau. Okay, that is your true biblical nationality. Okay, and um, it says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. Because who are the true judges? Okay, Yahweh Bashem Shai and the Israelites. He covered their faces. This is why the image that's, you know, promoted and pushed around the world through Christianity, you know, through Esau's doctrine. This devil's doctrine is Jesus Christ. All right. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. You know, he, he changes the the color. You know, when they see angels, he, he says the angels are white. He says the Lord is white. It says, if not, where and who is he? And if this is not the devil that the Bible speaks of or the wicked that the Bible speaks of, if not, where and who is he? Then who is it then? If it's not Esau, Edom. This is why Edom, okay, you know, these you so-called white people, you want to run away from being called Edomites because, you know, the destruction that's that's coming upon Esau. OK, so from there now. Still dealing with the article. All right. Which is uh, uh, in recent weeks, mass protests has broke out in countries from Lebanon to Spain to Chile. All are different. OK. It says, while thousands of miles apart, protests have begun the, for similar reasons in several countries, and some have taken inspiration from each other on how to organize and advance their goals. All right. Now, this is an article. I'll leave a link. I'm not going to read all of this. You know, I played a video with some pictures there. Now, let me go into the scriptures to prove that, you know, this is Bible, Bible prophecy. And it's going to even get worse. And this is, you know, it can't really. It's, this is something because you can't say it ain't nothing. But, you know, it's going to get worse. But guess what? The Lord prophesies these things. He says, second address nine and one. Uh, he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world in which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest so these countries these lands they had their 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 part they had their beginning they reached their excellency and now they have in their end 
This is the end of the world, the end of Esau, the wicked ruling the earth. OK, because he does has his hand, you know, over um, these heathens in their land. OK, you know, everyone, um, uh, all these heathens uh, take heed unto the Edomites. All right, because Esau run the show. So as the Lord said, then shalt thou well understand that the most high speck of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the very, even from the beginning. All right. So even from the very beginning, these things were going to happen. Just like we came into slavery. You know, we was brought over here on cargo slave ships. We were sold on auction blocks. We was misused. Okay. And that was prophecy. All right. That was prophecy. So that had to play out. That was written from the from the beginning. All right. And now, just like it's written that the elect is going to stand on their feet, you know, and they're going to prophesize. It says the book shall be open into the firmament. OK. To the heavens, the Bible, the word, the true gospel, you know, us waking back up to who we are. There was it, it, it was a prophecy that we were going to forget who we was. And also, we were going to wake up from out of sleep. And right now, we're waking up out of sleep and we're at the end of Esau's kingdom. You know, I have uh, discussions every day with certain guys, older men, and, they, and, and every day it gets more intense. And they bring these subjects up, you know, just like today. You know, it was talking about the economy, talking about doctors and the medicine. And, and you know, this place is finished. It's just a matter of time until something pop off, man. And this place would never be the same. All right. So, you know, you're seeing these different protests or you can call them uproars. They're happening, you know, around the world. OK, different places all at once, even though it's going to get worse. But this is the hey, this is the start. Matter of fact, let me, um, you know, this is a sign, you know, it's parts of the sign. OK, so let me get um, when I end it with this, this is Matthew chapter 24. And uh, verse 2, it says, And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone. Matter of fact, I start at 1. It says, Matthew 24 and 1, And Yahweh Shai went out and departed from the temple. And his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, See ye all not these things? Verily I say unto you, there shall be left here one stone upon another. Let me read that again. There shall not be one, there shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And as they sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto them privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thou coming and the end of the world? Let me read that again. It says, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thou coming? And of the end of the world. So the Lord is about to return, man. All right. The prophet, the disciples that later on became apostles, they were desiring, asking the Lord, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. He was asking them, when is that time? When is going to be the time where you're going to return? When is it going to be the time when it's the end of the world, which is the end of an age, end of a rulership? OK. And this is Esau's rulership. Now, verse four. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you because you shouldn't be deceived. That's why the scriptures say, bless if he that readeth, you know, you're supposed to be coming back into your power, knowing who you are. First steps. All right. You know, having faith. If the Lord gave you faith and taking heed to the prophets who are the mouthpiece of the Lord, warning, condemning and reproving, correcting, rebuking, you know, casting down all imaginations, man, that come against you. How about you? was shy. You should be taking heed and get preparing yourself and being ready for the day of the battle, which is the battle, you know, of surviving, man, the battle of going through great tribulation, man, having great faith. All right. So and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am uh, Christ, which is the anointed and shall deceive many. 
So we have that. We got many men that come out and say, you know, they, they, you know, the Lord, you know, or, you know, this is that for the, this is the doctrine of the Lord, you know, all right. It says, for many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And the world been deceived for a long time, man. Okay. But now the true prophets has a rule, which is, uh, uh, what's that? Jeremiah 3 and 15. The Lord said, I will give you passes according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord has sprung the prophets back up to feed you that knowledge and understanding. All right. Verse six. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. It, it, you know, it's always wars lurking and, and, and going on little battles. You know, scuff, 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 scuffles. All right. But that major war is World War Three. And that is a rumor. OK, that 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 is a, 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 a rumor because it's is, you know, countries are banding together. China, Russia doing drills together, preparing for a world's war. You know, you got America preparing for a world war and their allies. You know, they 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 are basically like chess moves. They're trying to establish themselves. Um, in different countries and, and make, uh, you know, set their missiles there so they could be in a, a good uh, defense or an attack, you know, an attack in, in a, time of, a time of war. So it says, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. All right. So because you'll be troubled because if you was paying attention, you'll be like, well, damn, yo, what the fuck we going to do? You know? Damn, yo, who the fuck gonna save us? We go to war and we gonna this, 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 this. You know, that that's the spirit, you know, you would be in if if you was a person that uh that seeked uh you know the truth. You know, but instead, two thirds of our people, they what? Despise the truth. You despise to hear this. You know, it hurts your head, yo, to hear what the prophets are saying, man, and bringing out the scriptures. When you should be, you know, seeking the Lord ten times more, man. You know, we gotta swallow all we can, man, just so we can have that faith to endure. All right. It says, but the end is not yet for nation shall rise against nation. Now, that is a race war. OK, see, people don't understand nations, the word nation no more, because this damn devil done messed your head up with this new speech. You know, people think that America is one nation. <laughs> You know, like we're all the same race of people, you know, as if, you know, we're all together. No, we're not. OK, you got Edomites. You got Edomites that rule this nation. You got Jake, which is the Israelites. OK, you got uh, uh, the, the Chinese. All right. That's here. The Africans, the Arabs. These are all different nations of people. All right. So the Lord said that uh, for a nation shall rise against nation. That's a race war. And that's going to view too. That's going to come out. It says in kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. You know, so these are the signs, man. These are the signs. All right. So, you know, I'm going to leave it with that. Like I was reading, um, like I said, this is based on the article, which is um, uh, BBC News do... Uh, do today's global protests have anything in common? Because there's many protests going on. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe Elder Apostle Tahar, if y'all watched the video, I think he had, it was 13, 13 places. I'm not sure. I can easily find it out if I just research it. But, you know, <clears throat> so hope you were edified, you know, into the next one. So with that, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, Bashim Makakadash. I'd like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.